over? Fold the plastic over? Yeah. Is there... And then just build it back up right here. This is the only spot that's bad. We just tip it up. But is this solid? Because this is where I put that band-aid with that chunk of plastic. This tank behind me has a problem. A big, giant hole. <laughs> this is not the work of muskrats, though. We're not really sure why this tank blows out here, but we're gonna try and fix it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take this section out so that Mr. FFB can get in there and clean the tank out a little bit before we try and fix the problem. Also, I've been trying to take it apart and I've just been busting bolts off. It's okay because he brought more. Haha, <laughs> -ha, I didn't break one. It helps if you have it going the right way. <laughs> I, I know, I just was like, man, all these are breaking. They must be really shitty. And then I looked and I had it the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh, that's sticky. I, think it's tore up. I don't know. This, this is this right here is the old. Oh, the, yeah. So we got to take the whole thing out. We thought we could get away with just pulling the plastic back over there and redoing this hole, but upon closer investigation, there are a bunch of holes in the plastic like this. So we're gonna rip it all out. And by we, I mean he is gonna rip it all out with the skid steer. He's just pulling all the sand back, like dragging the sand back off the top of the plastic so that we can get the plastic out just a little bit easier and not in a million pieces. Our plan to get the plastic out in mostly one piece didn't work out. <laughs> it did not work out, but we're almost done getting the plastic out. Ooh, almost fell. It's just coming out in chunks instead of one nice piece. That's a pile of plastic. We just got a few small pieces to get out now, I think. Just like right around the edges where he can't get very close with the skid steer. Add another chunk to the pile. Mr. FFB is working on getting the inside of the tank leveled up a little bit so we can put the new plastic down. Now we gotta put the tank back together. He leveled off everything except for right here. We're gonna leave more dirt right here under the plastic because this is not the first time this tank is blown out here. So we're trying something new. What is that stuff? Sticky tape? <laughs> it's what you use to put a tank together. I remember, right? Oh, is that any good? 
was a kid, we used to build grain bins with this stuff. Decent. You found some that's decent? Get back. Here, just stick yourself to something. Washers too. Like so? Yep. <laughs> Good? Yep. You see which way I need to go? <laughs> Uh, it won't matter. When we get them tightened up, it'll go. I can get a washer up here. Let's start tightening them up and we'll, it'll go, I think. He's checking to make sure the tank is level to the overflow tube over there where that vice grip is. At every seam. Here we are. Back at it for day two. What are you doing over there? Just waiting to go to work. Just hiding? Day two is going to be a lot different than day one because it's winter again, and it's windy. I'm gonna be flying a giant kite here in a few minutes. So uh, I forgot that I had a meeting this morning, a Zoom call. So I'm actually taking off. Mr. FFB is gonna work on the tank. The skid steer was the only other available vehicle. So we had it out there yesterday. Mr. FFB needs the tractor today to bank the tank and, you know, get it ready for plastic. So, I'm driving the skid steer with tracks, which, if you remember from our fencing video a while back, I don't really love driving the skid steer because I always feel like I'm going to tip over with these tracks. I know I'm not, but, but I just can't get out of my head about it it feels so damn tippy.
probably not gonna be that bad. I won't need my coveralls. Should have known better. I can see the tractor up there. It may be. It appears that I am just like a blister showing up when the work's done. Turns out I wasn't a blister. The work's not done. It's just too windy for plastic today. <laughs> so, the tank lives to leak another day. We're out here for a third day trying to put the plastic in the bottom of this tank. We're sitting down here below the tank surface. That we don't get winded on. Because it's still really windy and it's really warm right here. So, will the third time be the charm? I hope so. Be gentle so you don't poke a hole in the plastic. Okay, just a really short curve. Okay? put that first ring of bentonite, then we put dirt down and spread the sand out that Mr. FFB put out there at the first, or right after we got the plastic down. And then uh, he put more bentonite around the outside ring, and now we're just uh, finishing up with some more sand. The tank, we got it all sanded, it's all done. Um, Mr. FFB is just doing a little more dirt work over there where the tank always blows out and I think we'll come back later and we'll replace that overflow. He thinks that the overflow is too low and it causes the tank to blow out there because like I said on the first day we worked on this this tank has blown out here before so we're going to try something different hopefully that will work but Here's the tank, all done. 